My name is Svera and I'm a beginner vocalist and a guitar player. As a child, I've always wanted to sing on stage, but I've started learning properly only as an adult. On my channel I share my learning process and my thoughts and feelings about it. Every week I try to learn a new song and film my progress after each practice session. If you want to follow me on my journey, subscribe to my channel and let's move on to this week's video. Hi, my name is Svena and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here. And today we're going to discuss the results of my second week of practicing guitar skills and singing. It's March 26th and uh, today I had only like around 30, 30 minutes to practice. So, I chose the song for this week. It's going to be Lavender Haze by Taylor Swift. So, today we have like lots of things to discuss and we're going to start with me telling you about my second attempt to take lessons with the teacher, with the vocal teacher. Uh, it's a completely different teacher and a completely different experience from what I have with my first teacher. But if you want to see my first experience, which was not a very pleasant experience, I kind of mentioned a little bit it in my previous video. So, I think it's gonna be uh, somewhere here. You can click and watch it. So, uh, next, after discussing my experience with my teacher, we're gonna discuss why I decided to quit <laughs> doing this, why I decided to take a break from it. And then I'll provide you with some conclusions that I made this week about my practice. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm gonna sing you the first verse without without any instrument today because I didn't try it on guitar yet. Staring at the ceiling with you. Oh, you don't even say too much. And you didn't really read into my melancholia. We're gonna start with my experience with my teacher. A little backstory. I tried to take my singing classes first when I was like 11 and 12. I think it's kind of like that. But it didn't result in anything. I didn't manage to learn anything and my teacher didn't even believe in me as it turns out. Uh, so, after almost 10 I guess a little bit more than 10 years, I decided to take my singing lessons again. Today is March 27th and my second practice of Lavender Haze. I can, I, I learned the strumming part and for the guitar and I learned the first verse, kind of. And, but I can't do them only separately because I, I'm not able to like put them together and sing them while playing. So I think I will sing to you and then I will play the strumming part. And tomorrow I hope I'll try to kind of combine them. Staring at the ceiling with you Oh, you don't ever say too much And you don't really read into my melancholia around 10 years, more than 10 years, I decided to take my singing lessons again. This time 
I tried to find a good teacher and I spent some time looking some different vocal, sc vocal schools so I ended up writing to one writing one of them and they offered me like two choices of teachers I made my choice between all those years when I didn't take any lessons I um, tried like occasionally <laughs> teach myself to sing but it was like uh, a very chaotic very short time attempt like the longest attempt to do this was like three months actually it's completely the same with my guitar I studied like a million times but I'm gonna tell you this I think in my next videos subscribe to my channel I'll be very happy to see you today is March 29th and uh, it's Friday I have two more days for learning Lavender Haze by Taylor Swift I found out that uh, the strumming pattern is a lot harder than picking that I practiced the previous week it's hard to manage to keep up with the strumming pattern and sing at the same time so I think I can do kind of do them both separately on a decent level I think I can play you everything separately and then try to combine it and you'll, you'll, you'll see December 2022 it started in December 2022 I started taking lessons with my second teacher and I was so I don't know I was so happy about this because I liked him very much he he explained everything so perfectly like my brain could understand this uh, although my muscles my <laughs> voice wasn't able to kind of do everything right I felt that I was on the right path although I tried to like practice consciously I still couldn't manage to possess all that information and kind of make it my second nature so I think that that's why I got a little bit discouraged because my progress was so slow of course I improved a lot throughout the whole journey with my teacher but I thought I mean it seemed to me that the improvement the improvement was so insignificant and I thought that oh my god why am I even doing this I will never be able to sing even in on a decent level I was with him for almost a year taking lessons and then I got discouraged to the point where I decided to take a break which ended up in me not coming back and now it's April 2024 and I still I'm still not taking classes uh, but now it's more for financial reasons in the next session of the video I'm gonna tell you my thoughts and feelings about my break and why I want to continue taking lessons with this teacher when my financial situation improves so keep watching Beautifully, yeah, oh yeah. All the shit is new to me, yeah, oh yeah. I, and, and I also know that I can't really play 
at the normal speed like it should be like a lot faster so you know kind of like that. I should say it's the best take that I had. Like before I turned on the camera uh, I really did a lot much worse. So you, you can imagine. <laughs> I think my break ignited my passion for music once again and this December, January, February and a half of months, so it's like three and a half months that I was on my break they helped me process all the information that I took from my classes and the brain processed it and it resulted in me being fully rested and forgetting all the bad emotions I was feeling at that particular moment when I thought that I need a break and it resulted in me wanting to come back to it. Today is March 30th and it's actually quite a... It was actually challenging practice because it's almost the end of the week and I haven't managed to like sing and play together it's it's a total mess and it's so hard and i i just feel this is so hard for me and to, to like tomorrow is like the last day of the week and i think i'm not going to be able to play the song properly let's just try something I'll play you like at least what I have, what I got and I don't know how it's gonna work. I mean, you can see it. I don't know. When I started today's practice, I was like so sure that I won't be even able to do this. But you can see that timing wise, I am like off because I'm not able to strum at the speed that it is required to. And that's why I see, but I sing like a lot faster and it's hard for me to like sing slower to fit my guitar like my strumming so it's like I don't know struggling a little bit <laughs> this should be the main thought of this video and this particular story that taking a break even for a couple of months even for a year is okay from like no matter what you do 
your any like any hobby you have and if it's music it's same with music and I think it was like a very important decision because if I pushed myself more I could even like had kind of a burnout from music from singing and uh, it could result in me quitting at all like at all so I think that was a good a, a good decision like one of the best decision I made to help me like resolve all the emotions all the negative emotions I had but I think the main reason why I'm here why I'm talking to you why I decided to do this once again is because at that moment while deciding whether I should take a break or not I told myself that it's okay that I'll be able to come back to start it all over again whenever I want because I convinced myself that me quitting wasn't like the end of the whole journey it was just a little break today I was so um, unmotivated but I started practicing anyway when I started I didn't even know that I could do this I started like I was like only strumming for the first 15 minutes I think and then uh, I tried to I tried to like I tried to speak while strumming I know that if I try to sing it would be like I'm gonna lose the melody I'm gonna like mess up everything because I'm not able to think about both strumming and singing so I started with like just saying any random things and strumming at the same time try not to lose it I didn't really work it started to get better and I and I then I um, revised the melody and then I tried to put it all together and although when I try to put it I like mess up both singing and melody and uh, playing and I mean even when I do it separately I don't do them like perfectly well I still do lots of mistakes but when I like try to put it all together it's just the last part of this video will be my conclusions that I made at the end of my second week let's start I have one two three four conclusions the first one is a technical one uh, it's hard for me like the hardest part of the whole thing is mm, like doing guitar like playing guitar and singing at the same time so that's what we're working on towards I want to make it to this point when I will be able to be on a decent level while singing and playing guitar at the same time but for now I want to be able to even kind of be able to put it all together and not make as like not complete not destroy the whole thing completely the second conclusion is that it's hard to practice regularly when you're not used to it if you don't have it as a habit and you don't have a scheduled time for this which I don't because my work is quite flexible which means that I work <laughs> at different times different days and I don't have uh, enough consistency with my work so that's why I have to kind of schedule it on the go like schedule my practice on the go so 
That's why it is really, really, really hard for me to go uh, to practice regularly, to motivate myself, to like make it stick. But I really, really think that me like vlogging it, me filming it at the end of each practice session is helping like 100%. So I think it's kind of my way to make it stick. This Sunday, it's March 23rd, March 31, 31st. Uh, mm. Staring in the ceiling with you. Oh, you don't ever say too much. Okay. seems overwhelming at the beginning and it is okay it is completely okay and I understand that completely but I really think that I still struggle with some inner calmness when it comes to me feeling so scared that I'm not gonna make it that everything seems so complicated that everything is so bad it sounds so bad but it's okay and I think I'm on my, my, on my way to accept it. Which leads us to my final fourth conclusion. It's a long way ahead till I can overcome all my fears and doubts. Because I still have lots of them and I still can't believe, like, I can't fully embrace that, well, I will be able to improve someday I will be able to sound better and it seems like so unrealistic to me right now because I think for those years I've been thinking that singing is not for me that music is not for me now when I try to embark on this journey again after all those years I still feel this inner doubt inner impulse to stop, to stop trying and to stop filming it because it is cringe. <laughs> I mean, putting yourself out in the way I do with my ability to sing and play guitar is ridiculous actually. Because, well, what do you offer to the world? You don't even have the skill to do anything, right? Why anyone in the world should watch it? Why does anyone want to watch it? So yeah, I think I struggle with that a lot. So I need to kind of get along with that and be able to accept that it is okay to have slow progress. It is okay not to have progress at all sometimes. It is okay to doubt myself but it is okay to still continue doing what I do. Now I want to tell you my two main thoughts for today. The first thing is break, taking a break is okay. It is okay to just stop doing what you do, change your routine and rest and then come back if you want. 
that's fine. And even if your break will take like a couple of months, that's fine. You don't owe anything to anyone, so that's fine. You choose. If you feel like you want it, it can even help you improve because you will be fresh, you will be ready to work and you will be ready to embrace it, embrace all your previous faults and move on. And the second thought, the second main conclusion of this week is that it's okay to be scared and doubt yourself, to be fearful of failure, but it's okay to still go on and still continue what you're doing. Thank you for watching this video. I'm really happy and grateful that you watched it this far. And if you liked it, please like and for more videos, subscribe to my channel. I will be so, so, so grateful if you do, because I really want you to follow me on my journey and maybe we'll see some decent results someday. So yeah, see you next in the next video. Bye!